Hey everyone, Brian here, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over the race recap of the 2022 Desert News Marathon. Before we get into it, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Now enjoy the highlight reel of the 2022 Desert News Marathon. Now to knock off another state in my 50 US state challenge, uh, I decided to select a middle of the year marathon. Uh, wanted to look at a marathon that was mainly covered from the summer months of from May to August. So I selected in the middle of July uh, over in Salt Lake City, Utah. I wanted to create some kind of challenge to see how what would it feel like to go uh, thousands of feet in race in elevation decline. Uh, so I decided to select the Desert News Marathon. Uh, in my research, I decided to just select that one uh, as a really good race that would give me a variety of challenges. One would be the thousands of feet in elevation decline. Another one would be the scenery of the mountain, of uh, going into the valley of Salt Lake City, and then also trying to battle the differences in temperature. And just talking about that real quick, it was very interesting because we're talking about mid to late July when we were shuttled up in the bus up in the mountains we would have roughly about 55 to 62 degree weather up there uh, being about an hour or so before we were officially starting the race and then over the course of those four hours of running down the mountain getting into essentially the valley of the city and then by the time that you make it down to mile 22 to the finish line you be consistently in the 80 degree weather line as just to say as an understatement a very 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 challenging in, in a lot of ways uh, we're going from the start line at 7,400 feet above sea level and then going down to the finish line which is roughly just a little bit over 4,000 feet so we're having 3,000 feet of elevation decline and if you're coming from a state such as where I am from where the most you're planning to have in elevation decline would be about 30 50 feet maybe a hundred feet at most but so to prepare yourself to go thousands of feet in decline it definitely uh, created a humongous wear and tear on my ankles um, I tried my best to kind of lean forward into the into the hill it was really difficult to kind of maintain that forward momentum uh, for for as long as that race is by the time I got to pretty much the mile 20 21 mark my my ankles were shredded I've done well in cross training in strength exercises to develop my quads so I didn't have any issues with so that's a big plus right there to kind of provide some advice for anyone who's planning to do the desert news or any other downhill race in the future definitely work on mobility exercises when it comes to ankles feet uh, lower calves 
that will definitely help you a lot. I'm wearing the event t-shirt of the Desert News Marathon. At the end of the marathon, you would get a really nice medal here to encapsulate the year, to encapsulate the mountains, and pretty much the the, the motto of its, of its event, which this is the race, which is kind of a little bit of a play on words when it comes to motto or history of Salt Lake City being this is the place. So would I definitely try to do another downhill race? Absolutely. Um, now that I've kind of looked into other races around the country that emphasize the downhill elevation course, there are definitely other ones that are downhill in nature, but then not as aggressive in the downhill slope. So I would definitely try to try another downhill course yet again. Maybe not so much as a revel race because I've heard those are pretty aggressive when it comes to the downhill elevation grade. But just to be able to see beauty in the mountains, in going downhill, going into the city. It was amazing. It's definitely would give me an would give me such an experience that I would not expect. If you're into one to get some pure beauty in the mountains and seeing greenery and having to witness going through valleys and then having open up, it's pretty cool where you have so many people just go ahead and just camp out the night before and just uh, are cheering you on in addition to the, the the parade the floats that are made for that and you're literally the last two miles of the race you're just running side by side so regardless if they're cheering you on or cheering for the parade it kind of gives you one last boost to help you cross that finish line so i hope you like this review i apologize for not having as much video footage during the race i remembered my gopro for the trip However, the morning of the race, I completely left it in the hotel room and I didn't realize it until I was already on the bus heading up the mountain. So if there, if you're kind of wondering during this whole video of why there weren't any in-race footage while running the race, um, that's probably why, because I just, I, I completely left the GoPro in the room and I guess I will just focus on the mountains, focus on how I would be running it. And so there you have it. So I really hope that I would uh, just remind myself even more. It's bound to happen that I would forget. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video and give me some comments down below to let me know if there's anything specific I should be incorporating in future race recaps. Now take care everybody and I'll see you guys on the next one.